welcome to this short yoga class to release tension in the neck and the shoulders. So before we begin, I just want to introduce you to a new member of the family. This is Bonnie. She is our foster cat that we got last week and she will be joining us today. She had an operation on her teeth yesterday, so she's just after a little bit of attention, a bit of love. So she will be watching while we do the class. And then when you're ready, just make your way to a seated position. You can sit cross-legged on the floor. You can even do this part seated in a chair if you like. And then when you're ready, just rest in the hands on the knees. And then you can close your eyes if you like for this part. We're just going to start to draw our shoulders up towards our ears on the inhale. And on the exhale, just roll them down the back. We'll do that two more times. Inhale. Hold it up the top. And then exhale, draw the shoulders down the back. One more time, inhale to draw the shoulders up. Hold it there. And exhale, draw them down the back. Great. And then we'll move on to the next, ascending the gaze over the right shoulder. And back to centre. And then to the left. Back to centre. And then again to the right. Back to centre and then to the left. Back to centre. And then from here we'll send the gaze up towards the ceiling. You can also take the knees, the nose up towards the ceiling as well. If you feel any pain or discomfort in the neck, then just stick with the movement of the eyes. And then coming back to centre, chin to chest, centre, gaze up, centre, chin to chest. Uh, right, and then from here, bring the chin back down to the chest, and we'll just start to draw half circles, a nice stretch down the back of the neck and the sides of the neck. You may be moving with the breath if you like, just trying to draw the attention to the breath can, for some people, relax the nervous system. And then bring the chin back to centre and lifting the head back up. So finally we'll move on to a bit of a lateral stretch for the side of the neck and also the shoulder. And to do that we'll drop the right ear over the right shoulder. So you can stay here if you like or you can take the fingers of the right hand, place them on the side or the left side of the head. Just letting gravity work here. And then from here if you like you can take the left fingertips out towards the side. You might notice the stretch deepen over the shoulder. And if you like, you can even take that, sorry, Bonnie, take that left arm around the body. So just working here. And when you're ready to come out of the pose, just supporting the head coming back up to center. And we'll take that on the opposite side. So drop in the left, Ear over the left shoulder, maybe placing the fingertips on the side of the head. Maybe walking the opposite hand, the right hand out towards the side. Maybe even placing that arm around the back of the body. And remember to just keep breathing here, deepening into the stretch. And then slowly supporting the head, coming back up to centre. So from here on the inhale, we'll reach the arms up, interlace the fingers and send the palms up towards the ceiling, really creating length in the spine. And then exhale, release the arms or bring the hands behind us, interlacing the fingers again. And just start to draw the hands down, pulling the shoulder blades together. So really opening up through the chest. If you can't reach the hands, then you can take opposite elbows. Otherwise, you can always just grab maybe a belt or a rolled up towel. Or you can even just grab onto your, your jumper. So just work in here. And 
just holding it here for another round of breath. And on the exhale, draw the navel in, and maybe just coming forward, dropping the head down, lifting the arms up. Just come as far as what feels comfortable. You want to keep the tailbone, the sitting bones grounded on the floor. And then releasing the arms and bringing them forward. Again, dropping the head down. And then slowly just walking the hands back up, rolling up to a seated position. Right. So from here, we're going to take a shoulder stretch now. So again, if you've got quite tight shoulders, then you might want to use a rolled up towel or you can just grab onto your clothes. And we'll start by just sending the arms out long, thumbs pointing down. And we'll take the left hand and we'll just bring it behind the back, placing the back of the hand on the shoulder blade. And with the right hand, we will bring it up so the fingertips are pointing up, bend at the elbow and see if you can bring the hands or the fingertips together. I'll just show you what this looks like. So maybe creating a bind. If you can't reach the fingers, you can hold onto your jumper or, or top. <laughs> or you can just take a towel and work here. I'm going to try and keep the elbow, the top elbow in towards the ear and just keep the back nice and straight if you can. If you notice you start to round forward, then maybe release the hands and just work with holding onto a piece of clothing or, or a belt or towel. And remember to keep breathing here. Sometimes if we get into quite a strong stretch, we can forget to breathe. So just noticing that. And when you're ready to come out, just slowly releasing the arms, coming out the same way you came in, giving yourself a little bit of a shoulder roll. And we'll take that on the other side, so arms out wide, thumbs pointing down, and this time we'll take the right hand, bring it behind us, place the back of the hand on the back, the left hand goes up, and bending at the elbow, so if you can bring the fingertips together or grabbing onto maybe your clothes. Notice if this top elbow is coming out and see if we can draw it in towards the ear. And also noticing whether you're coming forward at once. If you can keep a nice straight back, keeping the belly button pulling in, ribs not flaring out. There's two more deep breaths here. And then slowly when you're ready, releasing the arms out. And again, just rolling the shoulders a few times, releasing any tension there. Perfect. So from there, we'll make our way onto all fours position. If you don't like this position, if it's too much for the wrists, then you can always do this at a wall. We just want our shoulders stacked over our wrists here and I'll show you that option as well. We're gonna take some scapular movements. So if we, or if you tend to get quite tight in the rhomboids and the scapula, then this is a good one to practice to really start to strengthen that area. So we're really focusing on this area of the, the back. And we just wanna to start to push into the hand and push up in between the shoulder blades. And then exhale, see if you can pull that in. So you start to feel the shoulder blades pull together as you drop the chest down. So it's only a small movement that we're working with, pushing up between the shoulder blades and then dropping the chest down, pulling those shoulder blades together. So just working through this movement a few times. If you're using a wall, I'll show you what it looks like. 
there. So again, just drawing the shoulder blades together as the chest comes forward slightly and then pushing away, kind of rounding through that upper back. Just working between these two movements. And the movement might just be very small, especially if you are quite tight in this area. If you practice this over time, you'll notice that it will get stronger and it will get easier. And then just making it the last one now. And then coming back to your all fours position. So we'll make our way onto the floor from there. Coming onto our sides. I'm going to do a pose which it doesn't really have a name, I'll call it opening, opening a book pose. So just stacking the knees on top of each other, the hips on top of each other, coming onto the side. And we're going to bring or interlace the hands behind us and draw the elbows together. So this is our starting position and then from here we'll start to open that top arm and bring it over towards the side. Now it will depend on how far you go, you want to try and keep your knees stacked, your hips stacked. You might, if you're quite flexible, be able to bring your right elbow down further towards the floor, but just work with what feels good for you. And on the inhale, just bringing it back in. Again, they might just be very small movements today. Just work in where you are. And we'll just do about 10 of those on each side. You might notice that you can get further the more that you do, or further to the ground the more that you do. And when you've done your last one, we'll just move to the other side. So you might like to just roll over onto your back, taking a moment here to notice how you feel. Maybe just rock in side to side if you like. And then making your way onto your opposite side. Again, just checking your knees are stacked on top of each other, hips on top of each other, interlacing the, the fingers behind the back and starting with your closed book. And on the inhale, starting to open up towards the left. as far as what feels good and then drawing it back in you might notice that one side feels a bit easier than the other side that's perfectly normal we do tend to hold tension uh, or more tension in one side of the body and in different areas just noticing these little differences is always quite good And again, we're just going to do 10 on this side as well. Making these movements nice and slow and controlled. And I've lost count. So once you've done 10, slowly just making your way onto your back from there. Again, just taking a moment here, bringing the soles of the feet to the floor. So for this next exercise or pose, you will need a blanket. If you've got a yoga mat, then you can roll up part of your mat just for a little bit of height there or you can just take a towel, roll that up a few times, 
for that, that thickness. Or if you're quite open in the chest, then you can always use a pillow or something like that as well. And we're just going to place that down. We want to try and position it so it's just under our shoulder blades. And then just rolling back down so the shoulder blades are on the floor. And your towel rolled up mat is just below them. And then the arms can come out towards the side. So this is just a really great pose to release tension in the thoracic spine. So that's the spine um, just between the shoulder blades, that section of the spine. If you spend a lot of time at a computer or hunched over or maybe driving, then this is a really great pose to just open up the chest. And everyone is different, so if you prefer to maybe play around with the positioning, then feel free to do so. And you can play around with the thickness as well. And you can either stay with the soles of the feet on the floor if you like, you can send them out long. Or if you would like to also open up the hips, you can take the climb butterfly pose by just bringing the soles of the feet together and letting the legs fall out towards the side. So we'll just be in this pose for about five deep breaths. However, you can stay in this pose for five or ten minutes if you like. It is a really nice comforting pose. It's a really great way to really open up that chest and release tension in the, in the upper back. And then after your next exhale, slowly just Making our way out of the pose, bringing the legs up to centre, maybe supporting the legs if you like. And we can just roll over to one side, take our prop out from beneath us. And then just pushing our way back up to a seated position. our hands on our knees, maybe taking some final shoulder rolls, so drawing the shoulders up towards the ears and rolling them down the back, just doing that a few times. And that brings us to the end of this short class. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you feel that your shoulders are a little bit more relief from pressure or tension. Thank you for practicing with me.